This guy is called Asidu Abudu. He is a Ghanaian inventor behind all the cars and things you are seeing on your screen. He has been doing these things with no help from any government or any investor for over 27 years. My name is Asidu Abudu from Ghana. I was born in Enchi, Western Region. I have this car. This car is invented by Asidu Abudu. This car has 5 GS. This is the reverse GR. This is the 5 GS. If you want to go back, you just press this one to this side. You can go back. If you want to move forward, you press this one. It will take you forward. This is steer control. You have your trapezoid here, down, left, right, right. But now, a Ghanaian millionaire entrepreneur and politician, Honorable Kennedy Wahine Ejapon, says that he is ready to invest heavily in this young Ghanaian inventor to take Ghana's technology and innovations to the next level. Investing in a talented young man like this, the Ghanaians, we don't see the need. That is why we are where we are. This young man sitting here, you see, the number of years he has struggled to go through life. Today is uh, the, the, the Christians who say a breakthrough for him because I'm definitely going to help him. And I see this to be the beginning of African taking back its lost glory. Maybe you will not agree with me, but look, in the year 1982, Dr. Joseph Renzoli, who is an American psychologist and also leader and pioneer in gifted education, he conducted a research and his research says that 3 to 5% of every population in everywhere in this world is highly gifted. Yeah, 3 to 5%. So in case you don't know what gifted and talented children are, then gifted and talented children means those persons between the ages of 4 and 20 one whose abilities talents and potentials for accomplishment are so exceptional or developmentally advanced that they require special provisions to meet their educational programming needs and these are the people that are changing the world our countries our cities our towns and our communities to make life easier for us because they see things that ordinary people cannot see some of the world famous gifted people of all time are Thomas Edison who was an American inventor that invented the light bulb and motion pictures cameras as well as improving the telegraph and the telephone. Archimedes was also a Greek inventor and he also invented Archimedes crew, a device for rising water that is still used in crops irrigation and sewage treatment plants today. Nikola Tesla was also a Serbian American inventor, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, and futuristics, best known for his contribution to the design of modern alternating current electricity supply system. And in this 21st century, Steve Jobs, who invented the Apple computers, Dr. Thomas Mensah, who is also a pioneer in developing the fiber optics on which the internet we are using today is highly dependent on, Bill Gates of Microsoft, Elon Musk of Tesla electric cars and SpaceX and Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook are the famous and talented people in this 21st century. And you see all the 21st century famous gifted inventors are all Americans and they are the people behind the US economic power because their inventions are being consumed around the world which contribute a lot to Americans gross domestic product GDP. And it is not a coincidence that they are all Americans because America and other parts of the world they have schools for this kind of special people because they believe that these people are born to change the world. The United States has a population of about 332 million and out of that roughly 3.2 million children are currently enrolled in gifted and talented programs making it 10% of their population. So because Americans pay special attention to these people that is why they are most powerful country or continent in this world. But the truth of the matter is that everywhere in this world has the 10 percent among us including we africans yes but most of the time we africans ignore these people by the way ghana is working very hard on that because they are also building schools for this kind of special people but that is not why we are here for today today we are here for one of the many gifted and talented people god has blessed the beautiful country ghana with
doing and he goes by the name Asidu Abudu popularly known as Inventor One. This guy was born with a special gift and unique talent and he has been inventing so many things for the past 27 years with no support from any government or any investor. But now, a Ghanaian millionaire, Anabu Kennedy or Hina Japan, is ready to invest heavily in him. But before we get into that, we would like to share with you the journey of Asidu Abudu and some of his inventions so far. But before that, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for liking. Now, let's get into it. Asidu Abudu was born in a town called Yakese near Inche in the western region of Ghana and this is where Asidu grew up. The western region of Ghana is the home of all the natural resources Ghana is blessed with including cocoa, timber, bauxite, crude oil and more. One day, Asidu went to the farm with his mom to plant some cocoa beans. Upon arrival, Asidu's mom was using traditional way of planting cocoa beans where two people are needed. One person will dig a hole and the other person will place the cocoa beans into the hole and cover it with sand. Asidu found that method of planting cocoa beans time consuming and frustrating. So when they returned home, he designed a special cocoa planter that one person will put the cocoa beans inside the planter and plant it easily. They tried it and it worked out. That is where he realized that he has the ability to solve simple problems with his God-given talents. So from there, he began inventing so many things. Some of the things he invented in his childhood were a television set, an aircraft, an automatic feeding machine to feed children and people with disability. In the year 1995, he won the Best Accra International Children Act Festival, KidaFest, with his invention. So the government of Ghana took him to the United States for a learning tour. According to Asidu, when he got to America, he found out that most of his inventions that he has been inventing in Ghana were installed in glass at the Chicago Museum. And he was shocked to see something he did in Inche end up in the Chicago Museum. He wanted to continue his education in the United States but the government of Ghana refused it so he returned to Ghana. When he arrived he continued with more advanced tech gadgets including car trackers and security cameras. In fact he was the one behind most of Anas Aramea Anas's security cameras for his undercover investigations. When you have my system in the car, the car gadgets and if somebody snatch your car from you or you meet Aaron Roberts on the way to some place, you just go for anybody mobile phone or any landline phone, then you point the code on the on the phone. When you point the code and you send the signal, the engine will stop the engine of the car. This camera that I'm going to monitor now, the camera is at Tema and here is Accra. It doesn't mind no matter how the distance is, it can be go anywhere you and within some seconds can know what is going on in their life. So if there's a, anything going on over there, if the door is, there's a door open there, and I add another technology to it, that technology gives the owner the signal to the owner that your door is open. The, the, the owner can open the camera to see the person who is going over there and now he has been inventing different types of cars, motorbikes, trucks and more. He has been doing all these things without the help of any government or any investor. But today, a Ghanaian millionaire entrepreneur and politician, Honorable Kennedy Ajapon, is ready to invest heavily in him to take Ghana's technology and innovations to the next level. Investing in a talented young man like this, Ghanaians, we don't see the need. That is why we are where we are. This young man sitting here, you see the number of years he has struggled to go through life. Today is uh, the, the, the Christians who say a breakthrough for him because I'm definitely going to help him. We want to, we want to use such people as role models. This young man with all the talent and we are not able to help him as a country. We have failed. We have failed. You got to go to India. Very filthy country. But if you see what they do over there, you marvel. We have to help ourselves. But I can only help, or you get help, stuff that he has done. So Ghana, young men and women, I'm telling you this afternoon that Ghana is not poor. Take your destiny into your own hands. You have to be patriotic. 
to your country when you are patriotic to your country you don't you love your country you don't want your country to go away everything in the country to go waste definitely you manage it well and by managing it well you yourself become successful and that these are the kind of young men I want to share my experience with you these are the kind of young men and women that we want to grow and teach them educate them inspire them to take their destiny into their own hands love their country believe in themselves we don't believe in ourselves that we are capable but with this young man sitting there we are capable of taking our destiny into our own hands so i'm here to inspire you that all is not lost if you think you are from a poor home and that is the end of life no wake up get up do something do something and god will bless you for that and this is a clear sign that this is the time for Africa to take back its glory. And again, we need three people like Honorable Kennedy Japan in every country in Africa. And if that happens, Africa will be the new China, believe it or not. May God bless Honorable Kennedy Japan for what he has been doing for the beautiful country, Ghana. And may God bless you too for watching. My name is Sherry Faruna. Have a joyful day and see you in our next video. Makrao.